Okay, you are actually on uh, Habibi, selling Habibi. It's our catamaran. We're from Montreal. My name is Fadzi. My wife is Annie. And uh, we decided to, uh, five years ago to go and prepare for a sabbatical for uh, eight, about 18 months. So you're now on the Habibi. It's a uh, Nati Tech uh, Open 40. It's a French boat. We took over on uh, June this year. Uh, in La Rochelle and we sell most of the uh, med this summer and we're now in the, the Canary Island in preparation for crossing. Actually today it's our uh, safety inspection so uh, we're kind of uh, preparing all that to make sure we pass the test. Um, would you be kind enough to show me around? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the uh, Nati Tech, we're at the Elm Station but that's not the, the only one. We have a second one on the port side um, this is what's a little bit different about this boat. Uh, most commercial boats have, will have one helm a little bit more higher, uh, like the Lagoon or the Leopard, and uh, you will find more that configuration. I think Katana do that configuration and Nati Tech. And um, we choose that because we like to be close to the elements. Uh, most of the time we will uh, navigate from the inside anyway when bad weather is out because uh, we have the chance to have three screen, three main screens, so we can autopilot the boat from the inside or port or uh, starboard side. We also choose to have the option of having the gas control of the uh, motor from both sides for docking purposes is pretty, pretty interesting. So we have electronic uh, control here on both sides, so help us uh, to do docking in, uh, in a more uh, easy way. So uh, that was one of the options we choose. In the back of you, you have uh, we put uh, we put solar panel. Uh, we have a thousand watts of solar. Uh, if it's enough, uh, the question is always: I think you never have enough energy that you can provide to your boat. So uh, we even uh, if even if we didn't have any problem of issue, we're thinking of maybe adding uh, some on the roof because we have the space there. So uh, let's, uh, we're gonna spend a little bit of money probably this week to, to put uh, another 400 watts of solar. So it's gonna give us uh, 1,400 and I think we're gonna be set up. But even the 1,000 is pretty good. In the, uh, what we use, uh, we have three fridge, oh, two fridge and one freezer on board. So that's what most consume. Plus uh, our heads are electric also, so. Thank you. So um, the concept, the concept of the open, uh, the open 40 is actually to be open, uh, the open uh, space. So from the inside, now on the inside, you are outside. We don't really feel the difference. So uh, the fact that uh, it's a smaller inside for 40, like you would find in other boats, but actually we kind of use boats both inside and outside at the same time. So that gives us the, uh, the, the, um, an open space feeling. Uh, usually we have the sides are open because all enclosure, this is, you can close everything uh, for the sun or for the wind and the rain. So uh, you kind of feel safe inside when you're here. Uh, also, um, it gives a chance when you are four or, two, four or five people on board, everybody have kind of his space, uh, his bubble, so that's nice also. For us, it was, uh, we are mostly two of us on, the, on board, except when we have guests and family and friends. And uh, for us, 40 foot was the right thing. At the beginning, we were kind of going more for 44 or 45. Uh, because we didn't find a 40 that was... Uh, uh, we want to have this smaller boat that we will feel secure uh, for a while, but because everything is more job on a bigger boat and uh, this is not the purpose of being here. It's more to relax and uh, enjoy our adventure and also to handle the boat. Uh, the fact that it's a 40 foot, we're always close to each other, so I don't need to scream to hear her from the front or vice versa so um, so that's it so that's the uh, that's the interior so mostly when we do our night shift uh, we're sitting here uh, watching a movie listening to music or actually looking at the screen 
and uh, what's interesting is that everything was is controlled by uh, those screen BNG screen who we have a Naviop system who actually control all the water uh, all the electricity so you will have all your system here and you control them and uh, so it's kind of a one station uh, that control everything but you have access to everything you have access here you will have access from outside also on the helm station so um, so that's an improvement from the previous model I think so uh, and also we had some other things we have a Vtron uh, system for our chargers uh, we are AGM we're not uh, lithium battery so uh, we actually have six service battery uh, and plus two for the motors. And uh, we had also a generator, it was actually a small generator from um, Whisper Power. Uh, it's not a big generator. We use a gener generator for two purposes mainly, uh, to top our battery if we need to. We didn't have to, but we try kind of felt that we need at one point in the med when the, the days start to be shorter and it's more cloudy uh, the solar panels sometimes will not uh, on a cloudy day be enough so uh, but we we have 13 hours on our generator for almost six months so we don't use that often as you can see and we use that for the uh, the washing machine uh, because the washing machine will work at the dock or on the generator so um, but we don't use it for to make water because our uh, water maker is a 65 liter uh, 12 volt uh, um, uh, water maker so we don't need the generator to make water we don't even need the motor it's good on the battery and uh, so the generator is more a security kind of thing and a practical for the um, for the washing machine we could use it also for the AC um, the AC, uh, we don't use it often. It's always a subject, should I have AC, should not? I didn't want to have AC, I didn't want to have AC. So we kind of uh, came to an, uh, an arrangement together saying that we will have AC just on one side of the boat. Uh, so we have AC uh, in our main cabin that we're going to see a little bit later and in the uh, cockpit. Like we said, we're in preparation. so. So this is this is the main cabin. Um, the, um, we uh, this is the place that we uh, when we're not up there we're here. Uh, it's the right size for us. Uh, we have all so it's the owner version. So if you go in the um, in the front, you will see our shower, toilet, and um, and uh, it's a pretty. Good, I'm a six. I'm almost six two. So it, I need kind of a height and space you can see also the washing machine and uh, the shower is it's a uh, it's a pretty uh, big shower means that uh, I can go around and uh, with no problem so that's pretty much it in the in the main cabin uh, the uh, we use in a boat you n never have enough space but on a catamaran you have pretty much space so all the floors you can open it and actually put stuff in there uh, we have most of our, uh, the charger and the battery are under, so this is the size of, side of electricity. On the other side is more the water maker and the generator under the bed. So they use the under the bed to, uh, to put all the mechanic and the electricity. So um, it's uh, what, what we like also, it's the light in the boat. The fact that the light can, can be di uh, dimed from higher uh, lights to a lower light. We saw a lot of uh, boat that it's a switch on, switch off. So uh, we use a lot of the uh, different degree of the light. So I f we feel that in a boat, uh, depending on how much light you receive, you want to have different kinds of uh, ambience. Uh, Okay, in the galley, uh, we have the more, it, it's pretty standard. We have an oven, a stove. Um, we have the sink there uh, that it's covered now. Uh, we had the option, we have the option of having the uh, seawater, uh, but we don't use it. Uh, having a water maker kind of 
make you very um, you use the, the the good water all the time so it's not an issue you just make water and we make more water every day so for us uh, we don't really use the uh, the sea water um, we bought this on the side this is a, a is an induction uh, um, uh, plate very very useful uh, I don't like to use the gas the, the less gas I use the better I, I feel uh, first of all finding gas it's not always easy you need to to, to find a place change the, the bottle the bottle French bottle doesn't fit with uh, Spanish bottle Spanish bottle doesn't fit with other so it's kind of a that was one, one of our not nightmare but uh, to have the right bottle for the right place so we decide to go with that plate that we use that reduce 60% of the time we use the electricity to cook um, some of people even change their main um, but that takes a lot of energy so as soon as we're motoring docking or the sun is high and we have electricity uh, the, the chargers working we use the induction and that's a big plus that's a big plus and uh, I suggest everyone ha should have one on the side so like since we arrived here we didn't use the gas the propane or the butane gas and uh, so as 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 I can see, as you can see, uh, where's Annie's uh, on the left side here? You have a fridge, that's more like the uh, a little bit like the uh, the the drink the drink and beverage fridge, but we put all stuff. We have another fridge here. We have another fridge here, and downstairs we have the freezer. Again, uh, the uh, not to take offer to put a freezer or a washing machine at this place and they don't offer both so that's why we went with the washing machine with a third party and um, a freezer with the manufacturer so uh, what else we have here that we we have a second radio uh, VHF a radio that uh, we can bring with us on the dinghy or if we have a problem or if there's an urgency so you can bring a radio with you uh, so we have that as an emergency one um, and uh, we'll talk a little bit later on the uh, other stuff but here's the uh, guest cabin so in the back is the same size as the owner cabin it means that uh, the bed is the same size it's not the same configuration but it's pretty much the same uh, we have fans in all the cabins um, so uh, this is pretty much it small and cozy uh, we upgrade the mattress with uh, the minute manufacturer and i think our guests are very pleased with that and we are so i think you, you should always upgrade your mattress because you spend uh, half of your day there so uh, it's kind of important and this is the front cabin uh, this is the front cabin uh, again uh, same size at the beginning of the other but actually a little bit more uh, narrow in the front but still uh, very comfy and uh, it's all about the mattress again if you have a good mattress you're gonna sleep well we don't need that much space um, so and the second head so there's no three heads it's a two head uh, boat again uh, the the head is um, it's another thing should I have two or three I, I think less you have better it is for cleaning purposes and also problem purposes uh, we choose to go with the electric heads um, toilet uh, who's actually uh, clean water is not seawater why we choose that again um, at the beginning uh, we thought maybe we were gonna have one electric one manual and um, but the electric goes very well we just need to make sure what you're putting in should be only uh, the basics so um, so just educate your uh, your guests how to use it then it's pretty uh, and you have no special treatment to do because it's it's clean water so it's uh, less headaches but I heard it's more complicated when it breaks compared to the um, the manual one. So uh, anyway, we'll see. We'll see. 
So here's the um, here's the safety ref. Here's the safety ref that we're gonna get inspect in a few hours. And uh, and this is um, just yep. this is safety equipment that you have ready for exactly. inspection. Exactly. So so with the arc, uh, they ask us to uh, to prepare all in all in advance so it's go faster and easier to prepare all all the gear. I have actually questioned for them because there's some new gear that we just got and we're not sure how to install it properly. So it's kind of added value to be part of the arcs that uh, they kind of uh, make sure you got it right. And also, if you have questions, they can uh, improve your knowledge. So uh, for sure, it's an added value. So you have all kinds of gears. Uh, and um, we thought we were well equipped at the beginning, but seeing all the lists, we find out that we're missing a few things. So we went shopping. Like uh, you need to like shopping when you have a boat. <laughs> it's part of the game. Um, like your uh, stand-up paddleboard, are they inflatable? Yeah, they are. So, so uh, the paddleboard it's it's very nice to have on the boat. Uh, uh, we did it more often at the beginning of the, during the middle of the season it was hotter and uh, you know the uh, the med is very nice you have nice bays and nice water so it's nice to to, to be uh, over the aquarium like that so uh, we uh, and also the fact that we put the um, the solar panel outside of the boat we have a better exposition to the sun uh, instead of having under the um, the boom and also it made a rack for our paddle board so, so it's kind of a two-in-one so that's very good i thought i'm going to remove them but i'm just going to fix them differently but they're going to stay there so uh, we uh the dinghy the question of the dinghy what size of the dinghy and what motor you should have i think you should have the maximum size of the dinghy that your boat can can take and uh, you should have the uh, also uh, take also the motor uh, the max that you think it's not too heavy and practical you will not never have enough power uh, because when it's time to, to use it you have it uh, for the motor for the boat we have Volvos uh, you have the choice of 30 uh, horsepower or 40 again take the maximum I would say take always the max we took the 40 so the maximum that was offered for that boat so I think again this is something should not even be a question shouldn't which motor I have just take the maximum that they can provide because when you need it you're very pleased to to have it even if you don't use it often the day you you need the power you have it uh, we have an electric uh, winch so uh, we use it all the time uh, for uh, all the all the purpose we, we 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 need to use it so this is uh this is something uh useful also um the um everything is pretty much here on the right side on the starboard side so um this is what this is where we uh fix all the cells uh we're going to see on the top how it's made and how it's uh how you oper uh, operate the rest um we have fishing uh, gear in the back boat side um, also something you want to have it's always nice to have it's always a pleasure and fun and happy on the boat when the fish uh, comes in we about in uh, we got we got pretty good result i would say when i talk to others uh, fishing is uh it's not a heart i think you need a <laughs> you need a bit of a change uh, chance but uh, invest in your lure uh, we catch about about 16 fish uh, in the last three months so uh, so it's nice it's nice we have uh, the freezer with a lot of fish in there so that's a good thing so we have a noto tacking uh, jib so uh, that's uh, that's very uh, that's that's very nice to have it's a smaller cell because it's auto tacking but we have other cell that we put up front front cells we have a code zero we have a geniker and a spinnaker uh, that will allow us to sell in any kind of condition to maximize the uh, the wind we have and the uh, the angle and we put the hydronet uh, main cell also, uh, we invest a little bit of money in the cells. We upgrade pretty much everything. 
uh, for us, it's the real motor of the boat is the sails. So uh, this is what makes the boat going forward. And the be best equipped sails you have, the maximum uh, you maximize all the the feature of the the wind, and you use less your motor. So this for us was important. And um, it's a little bit more sportive kind of sailing on the Katana, uh, on, on the Nautitec 40 means that you need to change the front cell by yourself. You, we don't have another um, enroller, uh, how you call that? Uh, uh, yeah. So um, if I want to put the code zero or Jenniker or Spinnaker, I need to use my, uh, my front line. Uh, and uh, so I don't know, some people will say it's a little bit too sportive. They will prefer to have another co configuration, but for us it's okay. Uh, when there's a lot of wave or the, the sea is big, it can be a challenge, but uh, it's part of the fun also, you know, get wet a little bit. <laughs> so outside of that, um, we have uh, our diesel tank and our water tank are the same size, meaning that we have 220 on each side. So we have 220 uh, one side, uh, port side and starboard side, so 440 uh, liter. And same thing for the water. Uh, we actually have 220 and 220. Uh, so a good size of quantity for the size of the boat again. Some will have more, some will have less. Uh, to compare, I think the Ultramar will have less, but the uh, Lagon will have more. So it's kind of, and also it's a matter of weight, I would say, after that. We change the anchor. It's a, it's an anchor from, um, from France, the Fab Brock. Uh, and uh, we, we, we are really pleased with it. We had no problem. Uh, we have a second anchor, a second anchor that come, came with the boat. It was a Delta. It's a good anchor also, but uh, we're very pleased with uh, the anchor we decided to put as an upgrade. Uh, we have 80 meter of chain and uh, that's pretty much it. On the on the uh, on the front side, so uh, and we use most of the compartment uh, in the front. This side is for the cells, and the other side is kind of the stock room, uh, everything. And we have also masters uh, that we can cushion that we can put on the front to uh, for a sun, uh, take the sun and just relax, have a drink. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much.